Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to check out what Amberlynn Reed has in store for the new year. She posted a new video called 100 Days of Weighing In and Girlfriend's First New Year's Kiss, and she teased in the thumbnail a wifey reveal, okay? She teased a wifey reveal. Now, I know what you're all probably thinking, Zach, by the time this gets posted, it's already been like two days. Like, what's taking so long? Well, listen, I don't like to post more than one video in a day if I don't have to. And the 1,000 Pound Sisters right now are far more interesting and entertaining to me. Not that I don't find Amber Lynn entertaining. Like, I am curious to see this video, but I was like, people want to see, people want to know what's happening in Amy and Tammy's life, so I got to post that first, okay? So that's why. Now, I don't know, it is called 100 Days of Weighing In, so I don't know if we're going to, if this is her announcing that she's going to be posting every day for a hundred days. I doubt it, but I don't know if that's what she's going to be posting. We know, we know, if you know, you know, but we know that this is not the first time she's done a hundred days of anything before. She's, she's done once upon a time, a hundred days of posting videos, a hundred days of calorie counting, a uh, hundred days. Of, she has specifically done a hundred days of weighing in before because I literally, I literally did it myself after she failed to do it because I said, it's not that hard. It's uh, weighing yourself isn't even the hardest part about weight loss. <laughs> like all you have to do is literally go stand on a scale. So I did it once upon a time. I'll link that video somewhere <laughs> for y'all to go watch. But yeah, so I don't know. She, she very well could post another video before I even get this video posted. And then maybe if it seems important, then maybe we will do a little a little two in one day tomorrow situation type of deal, okay? So just stay tuned. We'll figure it out as we go. Nothing so important in Amber Lynn Reed's life right now that I can't wait for me to post this after the fact, okay? I mean, you're here for my reaction, not for whatever news she has to share in this video. I, You know it. I know it. We all know it. So anyways, now that I've said all of that, let's get to, let's get to. Hey guys, welcome to a vlog. <laughs> and what, welcome to a vlog! You make me kind of nervous when you do that on purpose. Listen, I'm gonna have this song ready to go any day now. Okay, so I want to do a little grocery haul. First grocery haul of... 2022. Gorgeous, um, gorgeous girls love grocery hauls. Yes. I love these Vans waffles. So I got chocolate chip. Okay. And we got some blueberry. blueberry. I also have been loving me some hummus and pita bread. Hummus? Either one is good for me. Hummus is giving me big dips vibe, which I just literally, I think I shared this in another video, literally just watched um, all of Only Murders in the Building. And one of the characters obsessed with dips and hummus and only eats, exclusively only eats dips. And I'm like, wow, Martin Short who? Amber Lynn Reed? So I got some non rounds. Okay. You guys have suggested instead of me using creamer to add just like a little bit of milk and sugar-free syrup to my coffee. I, so I got the salted I get syrup. Oh, true, so true. Because the creamers you use probably are, like, loaded in sugar for what it's worth. But, like, also, everything's fine in moderation. Uh, granted, I feel like most of her coffee drinks were mostly cream, if anything. So, you know what? Maybe this is a good suggestion. I don't know. Also, eat what you want in moderation. Got some turkey bacon. Because I like to have that for breakfast. Okay, stunning. Also, sugar free vanilla syrup. Stunning. And obviously, we need hummus for hummus and non. So, I got the roasted garlic. Is this? Hummus. We did a dish soap moment. So, we just. What is this grocery haul? Is this like what you just need today? Because <laughs> this is not feeding anybody. Got some lavender and lime. So I don't really like the taste of coffee, so I wanted to add the tiniest bit. If you don't like the taste of coffee, just don't drink coffee. I don't understand why you're doing this to yourself. If you don't like it, just don't. 
don't drink it. And that's also just so well because she's like, oh, I'm such a coffee girl. I'm a coffee girl. Well, no, it's clear now that you were never a coffee girl. You were a creamer girl, okay? You are a, cre <laughs> a creamer girl. And also, if you don't like coffee, just don't drink it. It's so easy. It's so easy. You don't, nobody said you had to drink coffee. Also, got a thing of whole milk. And okay. The last thing. Oh wait, no. Okay, so lemons. Okay. I also got two things of baby carrots. Not carrots! I'm just kidding. I'm not triggered by carrots anymore, in case you're wondering. Because I also like to use those for the hummus. So Okay, but this is my little grocery haul. This wasn't a grocery haul, this was like a snack haul. This was mostly some snacks. Like what do you what what kind of grocery haul is this? So I am sort of obsessed with painting now because if you guys remember in my what I got for Christmas L video. Love it. My girlfriend got me this like painting love it. thing that we did together. Love it. So I decided to Instacart from Target some more painting stuff. I have no idea what I'm talking about. We're, we're getting painting supplies delivered through Instacart. I didn't even know that was a thing you could do on the Instacart. I do use Instacart for groceries. So I, now maybe, maybe we'll get some painting supplies. Here's the canvas. I am to think excited. To think she could have done all of that to begin with instead of just hinting at and suggesting to her girlfriend that she wanted things bought for her. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. All right, you guys. So this okay. is my painting. This is your this painting? Me. It was like a this is, out. okay, first of all, this is big vibes of like the one or two times she's ever shown us anything she's ever done and the like 500,000 journals that she has, she did doodles like this with like highlighter markers. <laughs> you got this big old canvas painting just to doodle, just to recreate your doodles <laughs> of the past. Oh my God. Yeah, it took me a long time. Okay. I, I think it's so, okay. It looks like it took a lot of hard work, girl. Drawing some circles and circles and circles and circles. I mean, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it was definitely therapeutic. If anyone wants to buy this, well, that's good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let me <laughs> let me hop into those DMs. Amber Lynn Reed, I need your painting. I need it. <laughs> I need it. I would like to see if somebody buys it. I would. She's trying to give old old kind of good kind of back a run for her money. Huh? <laughs> In all seriousness, like painting doesn't have to be some big like. I don't know, fancy art thing, right? Like painting can be therapeutic, like she's talking about. Like it can just be something that you do for fun, to relax, to unwind. And so it's it's fine with me. And now if she really did start trying to sell some art, I might have some other questions, okay? I, I might have some other questions if she really was like serious about trying to sell this. But if she's just doing this as a fun hobby, then I love that for her in all seriousness, okay? Before y'all say, Zach, why are you nitpicking? I'm, I, I just think it, it's funny. It's funny that she literally could have just did this same exact doodle in one of her 500 notebooks. Let's be honest, okay? Hey, I even have my autograph. Wow. Hey guys, I just wanted to say hi. I have, I have her autograph somewhere from when I bought those earrings. She sent a thank you card and signed it, Amber Lynn Reed. Today is actually December 31st, last day of 2021. Oh my God. I'm actually about to do my makeup to get ready for the day. Okay. And I'm just kind of like reflecting on the last year. And uh huh. Ugh, like, <laughs> it's so crazy that in the beginning of this year, I was engaged. Yeah. And then I got my heart broken in the middle of it. And uh -huh. I fell in love again. So, so you agree, you moved on very quickly. So you agree you moved on very quickly. <laughs> I feel like that's what I hear her saying right now. One year, like I see quotes all the time where it's like, one year can change you. Everything can change, you know, like those little cliche quotes. Y'all, it'd be a hundred percent true. Like a year, even just half of a year, uh -huh. even just three months. Yeah. Like literally can change you, can change the path of your life. It's just so crazy. I just hope that 2022 holds 
I hope I'm, I hope I'm holding a special place in 2022's heart is what I'm trying to say. Like, oh gosh. Oh, deep philosophical, philosophical, Len. Look, I'm getting philosophical up in here. Ooh, girl. Girl, you're being so deep right now, and I hope you I hope you do have a special place in 2022's metaphorical heart. Like, I want a good year. I'm ready for a good year. I'm ready to thrive. I have some goals that I really feel like Tell I me can more. obtain. Tell me more. Would just, like, like to hear them. I'm excited for 2022. I love a new, fresh moment. Like, I love Mondays because of that reason. I love the first of each month because of that reason. But the beginning of a new year... See... Girl, like when you I mean, this has consistently been one of Amberlynn's problems when it comes to schedules, when it comes to plans, when it comes to whoever. She loves the plan. She loves the plan. And she's even emphasizing that now because she's talking about how much she loves the first of the year, the first of the month, a Monday because it's a new week. And it's just like, you don't need all of this symbolic like, oh, it's a fresh start. It's a brand new, a brand new year, a brand new month or whoever. You can get started today. You can get started today. I mean, I, it sounds like maybe she's hopefully got started on January 1, but you can get started whenever, you know, Not, nothing's stopping you from from getting started now. Time in some ways is like, I mean, it's important because it's like what keeps us like connected or whatever, but for all intents and purposes, a lot of that, what you just described, is a social construct. If you're just like, I'm waiting to Monday to get some shit done because it's a new week and I, I need a new start, your new start can be Sunday. Your new start can be Saturday. It literally could be fucking Wednesday for all I care. You can start anytime you want. You don't have to wait for some symbolic moment. You think of past things that happened, or at least for me, I'm gonna speak for myself, I'm always like referencing the year, like, oh, in 2006, blah, blah, blah. Oh, in uh -huh. 2017, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, I want to reference 2022 as like, that's the year I got my shit together. Okay, so since it's New Year's Eve, New No, Monday. that's so stupid. That even if, even if you started on December 31st, 2021, on whatever you're planning to change about your life, like, you're still going to be able to say 2022 was the year you got your shit together just because you started a day early. Just because you started a few days early. <laughs> like, that makes no sense to me. She's all about also, like, the fake inspo, the dreams of what could be, the dreams of what her inspiration could be, but not, like, actually doing it. She She's not about actually, like, okay let's just get down to business and do it. She's like, someday I'm gonna be able to say that was my year. That's what she's dreaming about. I have to get back on my weight loss thing tomorrow, January 1st, because I have gained some weight. Okay, what did- give you guys a little update on What that. did I just say? You don't, you don't have to wait till January 1st. That, I have gained some weight. This like last month, like four to five weeks have been not very good in the weight loss department. Okay. Especially the last week has just been that's insane. And that's so and that's and that's fine. I'm just saying like you don't have to start for a new week. <laughs> I'm gonna stop I've said it like twelve times now. I think it's I think they got your point, Zachary Michael. I think the point has been made. We got some Brooklyn Bel Air sours. Okay. That's mainly what she's gonna be drinking. Okay. I'm gonna have a little bit of Malibu, Malibu Caribbean rum. Okay, also. wait, can I tell you this secret? <laughs> Not the secret, this personal story time about Malibu. Back in the day when I would go visit home, I lived near a college town and a lot of my high school friends uh, went to the college that was nearby. So when I would come home for like spring break or like just to visit in general, like I would frequently go party with my friends that went to that school because it was nearby and they're around and I hadn't seen them in a while. And one time we tried to get this high school friend of ours, we'll call her Jessica, okay? Uh, we try to get Jessica to come party with us in that town and party with us and hang out and drive over to us and, and see us and whoever, whatever. And homegirl said, she, she called us up and she said, oh, I'm sorry, I can't come right now. I have Malibu in my trunk. And we were like, what do you mean? And she's like, well, I can't drive with Malibu in my trunk. And we were like, well, is it, is it open? Because like, of course you can't drive with open containers in your car, but like, you can drive with a closed bottle of 
a Malibu in your trunk. <laughs> and she's like, I just can't. I just can't. I'm sorry. I can't. And then she like was like, that's the end of the conversation. And then I was like, why can't you take the Malibu out of your trunk? Like, you just don't want to hang out with us. <laughs> you just don't want to hang out with us. But yeah, that's what I think about every time I see Malibu. And also, Malibu, to me, is just gross. Like, I do not like the taste of it. I do not like that coconut, sunscreen, whoever, whatever. Not mine. Not, not for me. And this right here is one of my favorites. Bailey's! Bailey's Original Irish Cream. You ever drank Bailey's from a shoe? You ever been to a club where people wee on each other? <laughs> Do y'all know that? I'm, I'm turning into Eric Cook over here with all of these references. I need to chill. So, yeah, we're going to get a little tipsy. Okay. And my vlog. We'll see. You better. Hey, guys, so it is the next day. I so did you, did, you didn't. You didn't. Of course not. Moment. We actually didn't end up drinking as much as we thought. Wait. We were okay, first of all, if it's the next day, the title of this video says Girlfriend's First New Year's Kiss. Where was it? Where was the kiss, girl? I'm waiting. Two. There was definitely like a little tipsy moment. We just had like a really good night. <laughs> I was actually my girlfriend's first New Year's kiss. And I have to admit, it was the best New Year's kiss I have ever had in my life. So today is January Okay, 1st. wait, Happy that's New Year. that's it? Are we gonna get to see wifey? Was that it? Was that it? Listen, I know girls tried to clickbait for her life and her views over here. But the, the thing about Amberlynn is she used to clickbait stuff, but there was also oftentimes, like, stuff worth clicking on in the videos. If that's all I get for this uh, uh, teased, clickbaited, wifey reveal, I'm rioting. How are you guys doing? What type of 2022 goals do you guys have? None. Let me know in the comments. I just want to keep being mediocre. Okay, so we're gonna start a little bit of something, something here. Do you guys remember a hundred days of weighing in? I surely do. Unfortunately. Do you guys remember? I do. I was not successful. Uh, of um, course not. <laughs> like, like I don't. Uh, I, and here's the thing. I don't. I would love for her to be successful. Don't get me wrong. But like, she always sets herself up for failure with this 100 days nonsense. And like, I don't even. I could literally. I don't have the time to do this. I've done it in the past. Maybe I'll just find one of the videos where I've done it in the past, where I like literally clipped together every single time she started a hundred days of something, but it like literally never works out. Like it's never worked. Like she has never successfully completed it. And she has said herself that like, it's just not good for her cause she just can't commit to it. So I don't understand why she thinks it's gonna work in 2022. She's out here talking about how she wants 2022 to be a different year. And I'm like, it's not gonna be a different year if you keep doing the same shit. God, what day did I get to? Wait, I'm gonna go look. Okay, it looks like I've done this more than once. Uh, so uh, uh, this time I got up to day 30. So I think that's the last time I tried to do something like this. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because uh -huh. I want to try doing a hundred days of weighing in again. I don't think. So what that I don't is think gonna you include should. is it's gonna be like obviously a hundred days of weighing in. I'm gonna show you guys a daily weigh in for a hundred days. It is gonna be very much vlog style. So I'm still gonna be like showing you guys the food I'm eating, what uh -huh. I'm doing, like makeup, hauls. Like it's it's gonna be like normal vlogs but there's gonna be the daily weigh-ins uh -huh. within it. So it's not just gonna be like straight up weight loss. Girl, week. I got I got the the funeral memorial service attire on standby for whenever this 100 days is over. Cause I'm just, I just like don't feel like this is worth it. <laughs> like, like you, I, th this is what I don't get that she was doing something that was working for her literally a couple months ago. Why are we going back to things that have proven time and time again to not work? Videos, it's gonna be a mixture of everything. Some days the video could have like six weigh-ins in it. The next day it could have just like one weigh-in in it. Okay. Because as you guys know, hi, it's January 1st. I am gonna be a little bit behind on videos just so I can do my new schedule because I really wanna upload every other day. Every other and day? Mental health. I don't wanna like sit down and like do major filming or editing every single day. I know that's like just setting myself up for failure. So okay. by getting ahead of schedule, 
it's gonna help me a lot to okay. succeed in uploading every other day. Sure. So it's well, no, no, fair, fair. I just, I just, I just wish, I wish she would like listen to herself. I wish she'd listen to herself and what she sounds like because I think she could gain so much knowledge about herself if she just really like actively listened back to the things she's saying because she's she she sounds ridiculous when she's like I can't film myself every day it's like what else are you doing what else are you doing what <laughs> what else are you doing I don't know like certainly I I have benefited from you know being on YouTube and not posting every single day and like taking advantage of when I'm not like feeling good to just not do anything I think that's 100% okay but I just like I think if she listened to herself and what she was saying, she would understand why people are like, what's with this low effort content? What's with, what's with this low effort content? And then you're telling me you can't do this low effort content more than every other day of the week? I, it, I, just, I just wish she would listen to herself, truly. It is January 1st, day one of this 100 days of weighing in and my weight today, which you can see right here. Didn't she? 504.6. Didn't she get down below 500 at some point? I mean, I again, I don't really cover the the weigh in portions frequently. I when she was just doing weigh in specific videos every Wednesday, I was not really reacting to those. So I'm maybe not the expert here, but I thought she got below 500. Six. So this is day one. So I'm super excited for 2022. I really want to focus on making this year all about weight loss like i feel like with weight loss it's gonna just change my whole attitude about life i feel like it's gonna give me more opportunities more happiness more freedom obviously it's gonna majorly help with mental health physical health etc etc what so you want to make 2022 this year this this video is gonna sound like a broken record for me but like how then is 2022 any different than 2021, 2020, 2019, 2018? <laughs> like, that's the part I seem to be missing. Like, I'm confused how this year is going to be any different when you're already off to the same old tricks. So, I do want to weigh 350 this year. Um, I'm okay. I'm going to reach 350 probably in, like, December. But let's talk about these 100 days. I'm thinking I could lose probably a good 50 pounds in the next hundred days. Let's see so, it. That is my goal. Let's see it. I would love to lose 60, but we're just going to play it Let's safe. Let's see I'm gonna it. Let's 50 in a hundred days. Let's do it. I, I That's my goal. Let's, let's get let's to, let's get thing. to. Okay, guys. So, I have another grocery haul to do. <gasps> uh, Wifey reveal! <laughs> Wifey reveal! That was so intentional. Wifey reveal with this hoodie. Wifey reveal with this hoodie. Or is that trolling? Now, listen, some of y'all can't help yourselves and you were commenting already on the last Amberlynn video I did about like, I don't think the wifey in her new video is the same. I don't know, get, get, out, your, get out your magnifying glasses, put on your Nancy Drew caps and y'all do the work for me. I, I, I'm not gonna sit here and analyze like, do those shoulders match those hips? Just kidding, that's a, <laughs> that's a drag race reference. Now I really sound like Aaron Cook. But I'm not gonna be like, do those shoulders match the shoulders in the Instagram post? I don't know. Let me start measuring and doing all kinds of mathematics and whoever, whatever. I'm not going to do that, but I have seen people already in my comments of my last video saying it's not the same wifey, which, like, I don't know. She could have dressed Eric Cook up in that hoodie and pretended that was her. <laughs> this is my girlfriend. That feels... Okay. okay, well, wait. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait a second. Wait, okay, I just said I'm not gonna do all that, but I'm doing all that. That person does actually look like a lot. I gotta pull up the, I gotta pull up the Instagram post because that person does look like they have a different body type. I don't want to, I don't want to start all the conspiracies, but that person's body type did look a little bit different. In fact, I'll, I will pop up the picture of wifey. I'm going to pull her up right here because I don't, I don't, I don't have it readily available, but by the time I'm editing, it'll be available. But that person looked a lot 
a lot, a lot thicker than what the picture she posted on Instagram looked. I don't know. I'll let y'all be the judge. This is my girlfriend. Okay. Okay. Did that person not look thicker? That I don't I, I don't think it's Eric Cook, but that could have been somebody else and she's trolling. We have a grocery haul. We have some chopped kit sweet kale um pre-made salad. This one's okay. with poppy seed dressing. Alright. So good. I'm it's actually gonna have So good. Have half of that with a piece of salmon. Obviously not this huge piece, but also got some salmon. Okay. Got some ground chicken. Love. We needed some more trash bags. Perfect. So got that. Got some Classico roasted garlic sauce. This is all purpose seasoning, adobo. Some ground red pepper, some onion powder. These hauls are so, <laughs> so, like, what is this adding? What is this adding to this vlog? That's what I would like to know. We have some bread crumbs, Frank's Red Hot for some wings. Love that. And some crushed red pepper. Last thing is a ton. Okay, broccoli. Y'all, this is that time of year that's so sad. This was my tree before I had to do this. Okay. Isn't that the most depressing thing ever? No. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I, listen, I get, I get that you might be sad that the holiday is over, but the most depressing thing ever, the most depress. I could think of at least five things more depressing than that. And that's just off the top of my head, girl. <laughs> Putting away a few Christmas decorations. I didn't finish. I still have quite a few decorations to put away but okay i got it started and it's depressing but it's also kind of nice because it's like i do have a lot of decor for christmas uh-huh which is cluttery yeah so it's nice to like put that away i mean but, tea that's why i don't that's why i don't like to decorate for holidays like i don't need some extra clutter ignore this but i don't, I don't need any extra clutter just cluttering up my my space but it's still sad okay y'all i'm looking a wreck I am actually about to go shower. Just here to end this vlog. I okay. hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. All right, well, y'all, that that was that. I'm curious, you know, if you want to start taking bets in the comments about how long this whole 100 days is gonna last, I would love to I would love to know what y'all's thoughts are, so let me know down below. But otherwise, I, that's all I got. That's all we got for today. I think it's kind of nuts that she's trying a bunch of stuff that's never worked before for her in the past when there were things that were working for her just like months ago and now we're not doing those things. But I'm not going to do what you want, Amber Lynn. It's your life and we're just living in it. Your life and we're just living in it, girl. So here we are. Here we are. Anyways, if this is your first video on my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Leave a comment. Hit like. Click share. Follow me on all of my social media. Check out my merch down below. <laughs> and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!